Hello and welcome to your Daily Cosmo on May the 19th. Well, we should have a bit of a drum roll for this because this is the big day, the big D-Day, where everything that we've all been waiting for, while we've been backtracking over issues and relationships and rethinking and re-looking at things that you know, even took place as Mars went into Libra around the 7th of December in 2013. When she went retrograde on March the 1st, we've been going backwards with looking at the relationship with ourselves, with other people, with business partners. Today, Mars is actually going direct. And depending on where you are in the world, Monday night, Tuesday is the, the current overflow. And you'll be looking about your key relationships um, you know, about key balance, about can you renew that relationship on an equal fair level? Is the 50-50 in that relationship? Can I go back? Can I start to think back off with friendships in my life? You know, this is the big shift. This is about you being looking at over the last few weeks or reconsidering a lot of things going on within your life. The cards are today, the Six of Swords, the King of Cups and the High Priestess. The High Priestess, as you know, is about your intuitive mind and using your intuition and being guided by that intuition and not rush, rushing forward. Mars going direct will be like a stampede today. Everybody will be rushing forward in their cars to make the offers, to make the agreements, to have all that talk and that thought. Along with the Aquarius moon today, it will be about reinventing those new original ideas. Um, there's a lot of energy already that we've gone into the um, Mercury retrograde shadow. I've had issues once again with my PC and a couple of other people I've spoke to have had technical issues which I kind of think this is just the beginning of it because Mercury will go retrograde on the 7th of June to the 1st of July so expect some technical issues or delays even though Mars is actually going direct. We had a Venus um, square Jupiter on Sunday that overflows into Monday as well so you know you will be asking or looking at <coughs> Again, family values, family ties, the woman, the love, the income, paying attention to what goal can you achieve in your life to do with cancer, to do with the home, to do with the real estate. Jupiter is what goal can you expand on? How can you negotiate to get that financial situation or that property or that third person? So it's going to be a very busy day all in all, where you will feel like you want to search forward. Mars going forwards will bring in um, acceleration, motivation, but it may bring in aggression. So even though I'm recording this Sunday night, some of you have already said to me, I feel a little bit pushy, I feel a little bit kind of like I want to say things I can't hold back. So with all the Aquarius, which is air, the Mars and Libra, which is air, Gemini and Mercury, followed by the sun going into Gemini on Tuesday, you may feel the need for speed, but the need to talk, the need to say what you want to say. You might want to have the last word, and it may not be pleasant, because this is about, you weren't fair to me six weeks ago, six months ago, you weren't fair in December, I need to say what I need to say. The Six of Swords is about a card saying that you are wanting to travel forward. Six of Swords can mean overseas communications, it can mean travelling abroad, talking about negotiations that could even be overseas. The King of Cups is in the emotional balance we're looking for today. And as you can see on the card, he has one foot in the water. So this is about taking the first step, be it a small step, around merging or melting of minds and situations together. It's not going to happen overnight. For those that are ready to rock and roll around relationships, this is the first step. Look towards the Gemini new moon, and I'll go into that later on, uh, um, and there's a Neptune aspect to that, which I kind of think that will be making us all fantasize and drift along on relationships starting to trigger then, and then going into the June period. But this is the early stages, this is the ball rolling, this is the excitement, this is the adrenaline, this is kicking back into the diet, into the running, into the exercise. You're going to feel motivated to do absolutely anything today, and that you can achieve it. But while you're running, you may bump into others. 
Mars going direct with that stampede may bring, bring in conflict, but Mars can bring in accidents. So be careful where you're rushing, be careful how you go today. But it will be a day where you will all be buzzing mentally and physically within your mind because the Aquarius likes new things, it likes excitement, it likes the quirky original ideas. So it will be socializing, connecting with people, talking with people, busy with offers of new adventures, new business. It will be a busy couple of days. So enjoy your Mars going direct. Embrace it, whichever sign you are. This is about stimulation and this is about what is it you want to change, putting the right balance into the key areas of your life and getting a response back. And you will get a response back because this is onwards and upwards. Libra, Scorpio and Aries, I kind of said some of you I do think may feel the aggression or the push or the shift in a bigger sense. But this is about things peaking. This is about the turnaround. This is about the engines roaring. So have a fantastic Monday. Any offers that you will get, again, Gemini energy we're coming into. Any offers, any talks, you may be in two minds. Don't jump into anything. Rethink it, relook, review it, take your time. A lot of Gemini Mercury is in two minds about any offers or agreements. Maybe you've been offered something financially and it's not enough. Wait for the second offer. There's generally a second offer when Mercury or Gemini is about. But as Mars rolls forward, it gives a greater push. It gives a greater excitement. You're all rolling forward into partnerships or relationships, whether it's business, client, opponent, the relationship with yourself or your parents or your friends. A great day to start the ball rolling in a new concept, a new light, a new phase is what I'm going to say to you because this is about coming into everything starting to mould back together in the greater sense. Have a fantastic Monday until tomorrow's daily from the Cosmo. Bye-bye for now.